I'm uh, Ono Bokhoff, I'm professor in geophysical fluid dynamics at the University of Leeds. We are showcasing the Wetropolis Flood Demonstrator at the Mathematics of Planet Earth exhibition at the Imperial College in London, and Wetropolis is part of the DARE project. So, hello, um, I'm Oliver Phillips, I'm a PhD student at the University of Reading. Um, and I'm part of the Mathematics of Planet Earth CDT, which is part of the event that's been organised here today, looking at lots of different sort of how maths is involved in the planet. And we've been showing around members of the public um, and just try and get people involved and interested in maths and how important it is to understand what's going on in the planet. Wetropolis uh, was part of a larger uh, uh, investigation on, on flood science policy and Wetropolis triggered this uh, flood science policy and, and a new tool, tool we developed and we, we sent it in as evidence to a, a parliamentary flood inquiry which was held in 2020. This is uh, the Wetropolis setup. It has a river channel with water coming in upstream and then the river channel winds down to its exit. Right at the end here we have the city which can uh, flood under extreme rainfall. We have the reservoir where it can rain. Uh, when rain falls in here it flows immediately into the river and we have here the moor which consists of porous particles and the rainfall can absorb and then it flows here at the end into the, into, into the river. And Wetropolis aims to visualize what the return period is for uh, an extreme flooding event. Uh, often people say after an extreme uh, flooding event that this was a, an event that happens on average once in, in every 100 year. So, I don't want you in this setup to, to turn to dust by having to wait, uh, say, 100 years. So, so, so what, what I did is I shrank a day to 10 seconds. So what you see here is that every 10 seconds, a ball, a ball falls through this setup, the Galton board or pinball machine. And in the, in the top bit, there are four outcomes. And in the bottom bit, there are another four outcomes. So for example here, the ball fell through and it says two seconds. So that means that it will rain two seconds in the setup of the 10 second Wetropolis day. Now again, it says uh, two seconds, so that's 20% of the time. So it can either rain one second when the outcome is one second, two seconds, four seconds, or nine seconds during a Wetropolis day. Obviously nine seconds, 90% of the time, is the most severe case. Now if we look at the bottom bit, this determines the location where it rains. So let's see what the ball does. The ball now says it will rain in more and reservoir in the setup. So there are two places where it rains. But it can also rain only in the reservoir, only in the moor. Let's see what it does. Again, more and reservoir. Or the fourth one, no rain. And then it doesn't rain for 10 seconds. So I'm now looking at uh, the Galton board and the outcome is four seconds of rain in the moor. So counted one, two, three, four, there was four seconds of rain in the moor. Now it says one second of rain in both moor and reservoirs. So one second gone in a second. Now, the, now it says four seconds in the moor and we get again four seconds of rain in the moor. And now we just have to wait till we hit the jackpot. So we'll just wait till we hit the jackpot. This is the extreme event. You need to get annoyed that it takes a while. Uh, so now there is nine seconds of rain on the board in the reservoir. So it rains nine seconds and the city is not yet flooding, but very close to, to flooding. So now it's very wet. There is some minor flooding, four seconds of rain and more in reservoir. So the moor has this extra feature that it's porous. So when the rain comes in, you see the water table rise. And then when it stops raining, it sinks again. And that relates to the slow release of the water into the river at the end. It, it, a return period is the frequency of a, a return period of an extreme event is the frequency with which to so the time period with which an event returns of that nature in, over time. So, 
when you have a hundred, an event with a hundred year return period, then on average it happens every hundred years. In Metropolis, the return period is six minutes and six seconds. So on average, the extreme flood event happens every six minutes and six seconds. But it might be irregular. There might be even two consecutive Metropolis day with a super flood and then not one for another 10 minutes. And the, the, the Galton board determines what happens. So a super flood with two consecutive extreme events, so nine seconds of rain in Moa Reservoir, that happens in Wetropolis on average every three hours and 43 minutes. So we have presented Wetropolis uh, to flood victims in the Armley uh, Museum in Leeds. Uh, we have presented Wetropolis at a workshop uh, for flood victims in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, and, and those people are very interested. And they want to understand what the frequency of flooding means. Members of the public have been really excited by um, this exhibit here today. Um, they've been very intrigued to see what's going on because because we've got sort of the actual the water flowing through. You can see things happening, so you can see the water slowly being released. So everyone's been really excited to see, uh, see to see the flood of Smurf Town at the very bottom. We've been able to show people how we're not just going to get a flood every you know we can't get a flood every six minutes or when we talk about floods in in the UK we get them every you know one in ten year or one in a hundred year events. So this just showed that you could be waiting here for 10, 20 minutes for instance to see a flood, or you can be lucky enough to see two days where it floods back to back. Um, and that's you get a really rare event and you get a lot of waterfall, uh, a lot of very intense flooding in the city. Flood professionals got, get inspired by Wetropolis because it takes them outside their normal zone and they start getting ideas and, and talking about flood control and flooding in a very enthusiastic way. So in meetings it's useful to trigger the, 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 uh, uh, the, the thinking of the flood professionals.